Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Cardano and how super bullish it is during this Bitcoin dump. I'm also going to take a quick look at Polkadot, going to update the charts for Polkadot and take a look at Crypto.com, C-R-O on the charts and some of the news and some of the cool features you can use on their apps to earn interest. We talked about it a few days ago. It's had a big pump and dump from that point, but I want to update the charts and have a look at some support and resistance. So if you're interested in that, learning more about Cardano, Polkadot, Crypto.com, be sure to subscribe to the channel right here. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can see the content as it comes out nice and fresh. Lastly, like the video up if you find some value from it. All right, let's move across to the video. Coin market cap, BTC, $886 billion, $47,500 for a Bitcoin. We have seen a bit of a drop today. The Bitcoin crash is going on, but if you haven't seen it already, I have a video up. Bitcoin crashing, all that good stuff. Lots of positive news. Go and check it out on the channel. I'm posting it today along with this video. So if you haven't, go and check it out already. Uh, Ethereum, 1500. But what we're interested in today is Cardano at 33 billion, taking spot number five again, and a uh, dollar and eight cents. Polkadot, we're going to have a quick look at as well. 28 billion and $30.60 cents. And lastly, Crypto.com making its entrance back into the top 20, holding its position there after its uh, big peak at around 27 cents, now down to 15 cents, but still well above the resistance level earlier. So CRO, we're going to take a look at that today as well. So I'm bringing up Polkadot as well because we can't get too stuck into one idea. Yes, Cardano is fantastic, ADA is fantastic, Ethereum is fantastic, Binance is fantastic. Who's going to win? Who knows? It's all this uh, primitive primal nonsense about fighting each other. Are you here to make money? Are you here to rotate your profits into other investments, get passive income, live financially free? Or do you want to battle it out in some primitive game with some other idiot online? Your choice. But I'm here to continue with my passive income journey and I hope you guys will join me as well. So that's why I'm looking at Polkadot because there isn't going to be just one winner. So we need to look at this and really get a grasp of what's going on here in terms of the price action on the chart. Fear and Greed Index hasn't changed since the last video, 55. But if you this is the first video you're watching today from my channel, Extreme Greed was uh, late last week, just up until the peak. This is important because we want to see the market cool down a little bit. We've been too hot for too long. It's nice to get a reset and then building a reaccumulation and then we can start moving up again. We want to build the foundation of a solid, strong bull market. Moving across coin market cow, we've got the merry hard fork for Cardano coming up. I'm only looking at this. It's everyone knows about it already. Merry hard fork is coming on March 1st. And I'm checking this out because it's still trending, still significant, lots of extra views, lots of extra votes. Uh, basically, the, the sentiment out in the market is it's an important uh, feature that's coming up and it's an important event. So that's why we're paying closer attention to it to see if it's still relevant. Next piece, Elon Musk changes his Twitter bio to Meta 4K. Is he really trolling Cardano? Surely by now you guys have seen this. This is a little bit older. Today's the 26th, February 24. Just bringing it up, just something fun and funny. I haven't mentioned on the channel yet, so I won't spend too much time on it. Essentially, Musk, you know what he gets up to. Changing his Twitters, doing up different tweets. Charles Hoskinson, the CEO founder of Cardano, it's just having a little back and forwards game. In case you're wondering, Elon Musk is trolling Cardano. And yes, we love you for it, Papa E. How cute. All right, so yeah, it just looks like it's a bit of fun. All right, guys, so maybe... Elon Musk is buying Cardano, maybe he's trolling it, maybe he sees some value in it later on to integrate with the Tesla uh, cars and all of their electronic integrations, I don't know. But it's nice that he's talking about it on his Twitter because it brings extra exposure to uh, Cardano, which we can see on Google Trends. Cardano has taken the lead just uh, in January, just a month ago. Cardano was at the same level as Polkadot, slightly ahead, 2117. Now, I also have Crypto.com here as well because we're going to be talking about that today. And you could see even in August, Polkadot was slightly ahead of Cardano. But now, Cardano has really, really taken off since that time and has skyrocketed in terms of uh, Google trend words, people searching for it. The pricing, Polkadot's done fantastic as well. But Cardano is well up there and it has moved back to all-time highs 
see back here, February was 98, and now we're sitting at 100 for Cardano. This is the most popular Cardano has ever been searched. Polkadot is at 35, Crypto.com 21, in comparison only to Cardano. If I took Cardano off, do this here, remove, then we get a refresh of the data itself, and Crypto.com is skyrocketing now as well. So these are all popular tokens. Obviously, Crypto.com would be skyrocketing because of their 70 billion coin burn, which is happening. Uh, they've got a schedule here, but they announced it earlier this week, which is what was the pump was about on CRO. So just taking one last look at the Google Trends, Polkadot sitting at all-time high levels of in, in the search engine. So these are all really popular. Market is dipping, well, Bitcoin's price is dipping, but the, the BTC values against these cryptocurrencies is remaining relatively steady for cryptocurrency, of course. A couple of pieces of news here before we have a look at the charts. Polkadot unveils new details on its on-chain auctions for parachains. So they got news coming out as well. Their ecosystem is growing, it's expanding. They could be taking on some Ethereum projects which don't like Ethereum for whatever reason, gas fees, etc. But overall, we don't know which one is going to win. Obviously, probably many of you watching this, the video at the moment are hoping Cardano wins so that it skyrockets, but you could have Cardano skyrocket and Polkadot also skyrocket. The market caps aren't that big in the grand scheme of things. They're huge. $30 billion is a lot of money, but it's not a Bitcoin valuation. It's not an Apple valuation yet. So there's still a lot of room to move in these cryptocurrencies market caps. So just moving back to this, Polkadot, basically there are problems on, there will be problems and there are problems on all of these smart contracts. And they just uh, look at different areas which they will scale back on. So decentralization is one of those. And Ethereum is trying to go down the fully decentralized route. So they are taking a little bit longer. It's a little bit slower on, on Ethereum. Whereas for Cardano at the moment, it's not as decentralized as Ethereum. They claim to be more decentralized than Ethereum in the future, but who knows what problems that will bring for Cardano. And as holders, we need to be aware of this so that we don't get caught out, don't get caught down, bent over and screwed. So really just pay attention to those sort of things as well. It's always, it's not always roses everywhere. We're having great time with the price, which we'll see in just a moment. And that moment is now. Cardano, Bitcoin, we have crossed the 2000 mark. So this is an update because I talked about it the other day. This is a great thing, right? We have broken through the resistance, which was set back on the 1st of April, 2019, or the weekly bar of the 1st of April, and that high was around 1944, so 1,944 Satoshis. I'm looking at the Bitcoin chart first because we want to see the value increase against Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is dropping. Most of the time, altcoins will drop their US dollar value and they'll tend to bleed against Bitcoin as well because everyone's scared in the market. Whereas we've seen the opposite on Cardano, which to me highlights the added strength in the market. It is able to forge ahead while the king is dying. This is really good news. The other thing I saw here, which we've talked about earlier, way earlier in the piece, is a inverted head and shoulders. This was the neckline, which is why that orange line is there on all the charts. And it broke through back here in early February. And now we've even broken through the next uh, line of resistance. So potentially we see a little move up to one of these other resistance levels. Maybe we'll go all the way to 4,000. Maybe we'll just get a touch above uh, and hit that 2600 before having a little retrace. Who knows? We've got to see what happens with Bitcoin. But from this point, I think we will probably have a crack at that 4000 Satoshi level. So they're still just shy of a doubling in Bitcoin value uh, to go for Cardano. None of this is guaranteed. I hope you know that. <laughs> but it looks a lot more promising than many other charts at the moment, especially after breaking through resistance and then the neckline and all of that sort of stuff. It's just even on strong volume, we've got the volume down here. All of this is the volume and you can see as we scroll in, it did it on strong volume. I've talked about that many times on the channel. This is a really, really strong sign and it's how I bought into Bitcoin again as it broke through the $10,500 triple top. It's a very, very similar pattern. So I've seen it so many times that I'm so confident on this pattern. 
if the pattern doesn't play out and it reverses against us, that's extremely weak because this is a strong pattern set up. If the pattern doesn't hold, then there's something very, very wrong. But for me, I really do think that this will, this will hold. Let's have a quick look at the dollar value. We're back down to a dollar and eight. Not bad buying, but this is looking very strong. We've got a, almost three days to go until the closing of the week on Cardano. And hopefully we get a little close or a very close close to the previous week's close. So that's a strong sign as well. I don't have any doubts on this. I think this is looking very good. I don't know if we'll see anything below 80 cents or 70 cents. And some of you might freak and say, you're crazy. It's never going under a dollar again. Don't worry. It's going to go up eventually. It doesn't matter whether it's at 70, 80 cents now. If it is, go sell a kidney, buy some more. That's health advice, not financial advice. And then ride this thing up to three, four, five dollars. We, we don't know how far it will go, but looking at what I have here, so this is my Fibonacci from uh, the major low to the major high, I would expect a doubling of this price. So this range doubling from that top, we're somewhere around $3.65, uh, that's $2.80, sorry, the 261% is at $3.65. And I definitely think this thing will probably be at five bucks. It's not too far away from a dollar to five dollars. It's, it's not that big of a deal. It's great returns. Cardano, 33 uh, billion to get to $5 from $1. We have to go one, two, three, four times, which means four times 35 is about $140 billion market cap, still below Ethereum's current market cap. So playing a bit of a what if game there, it looks pretty good for Cardano. I have talked about Cardano long enough. Let's have a look at Polkadot so we can just update the chart and you just had a quick peek of audio, which I'll put into another video today. I'm gonna to film something else, go through a few coins that I'm looking at, and then also make mention to some coins which you guys have requested and reasons why I would not touch those with a 10 foot pole. So let's have a look at Polkadot first and I'll get to that video later. Uh, do you see something similar here? We've got resistance, well, what was resistance? We have more resistance and now we have a breakout. And this breakout is taking a little bit longer, I believe, because Bitcoin is showing some signs of crashing, dumping, steadiness, uh, volatility. It's showing a lot of uncertainty in Bitcoin. So we're looking at Polkadot versus Bitcoin, but it's holding its value. That's a great sign. We're above resistance, finding it as support. We don't want to see it break down. We definitely don't want to see it come back below these levels and stay below those levels because this that would just drag on the accumulation phase a little bit longer before we would finally see a peak with uh, Polkadot. So we don't wanna see it in this zone here, but in this zone, okay, ideally we wanna see it stay above this zone. That would be the ideal scenario, especially as Bitcoin uh, trades underneath its all time high. So Polkadot BTC also looking strong. If you wanted to hedge against Cardano and Ethereum, Polkadot, that's, that's how I'm using Polkadot in my portfolio. Now, the last token I wanted to have a look at with you guys is Crypto.com. We wanna update that chart from uh, Monday's video. Crypto BTC, we went on a wild run. Video got it out when it was around 400 Satoshis. We're currently at 325 Satoshis. That's a big spike, but we had a long way to fall from 1600 sats. 1600 Satoshis. Big volume. Ideally, like we just saw with Polkadot, ideally we want to see reaccumulation above the old resistance. So we want to make it support. We don't want to see it fall back into the zone, but it's not the end of the world if it does. It's more buying opportunities. Yes, we would have lost a lot of value from anywhere from the top down 50%, 60% of our Bitcoin value, which is not a great thing. But I have a feeling, looking at the chart, if we can hold above this uh, support, this resistance as support, then I like this level. I think it's a great reaccumulation zone and that's what I'll be doing with CRO. Uh, this is crypto.com against Bitcoin. This zone's not the end of the world, but we don't wanna see it fall below the, the previous low. And I don't think it will because of uh, the previous test at that low. So we saw the market come back, sit on this level at around 170 broke below for a day, didn't stay under, it bounced back above. That's a very strong signal to, to signal to the market, to the big players, 
that there are no more sellers under this area and it quickly reversed. Higher swing low, away we went. So this is just a sideways pattern now. This is undecided. We need to see whether it breaks down or breaks up or does both. So no decision on this point. Any buying between uh, around that 250 through to where we are now, personally, I like. Do your own research, see what you feel is comfortable for your own portfolio. I do not know what is in it and how much reserves uh, you have. Crypto.com versus USD. Before we wrap it up, looking at this huge spike, again, we are under the resistance, spiked above, came back under. However, we are looking okay sitting above the old swing. I've chosen that level because that's the old swing. That's where the market pulled up before having a minor reverse here. That's not a bad thing at all. So we want to see it hold up here. If this was to break down through the 13 cents, then I would definitely be expecting lower prices somewhere to around there, nine and a half to 10 cents. I don't think that will happen because we had a long time of accumulation at these lows. And I think these whales down here are waiting for much higher prices than 10 cents or where we peaked out at around 26, 27 cents. I think this thing's got a long way to go, especially looking at the market cap for CRO. CRO sitting at 3.4 billion. And it's not a Binance, but it has a lot of features like Binance. And if it can expand its exchange, it definitely has the potential to uh, to move towards that Binance space. So it's at 30 six billion dollars i think i said million earlier crypto.com 3.8 billion so short of a tenth of binance a couple of news pieces on uh, crypto.com they're doing a lot they're always pumping stuff out crypto.com lists avalanche supercharge feature to feature supercharger to feature dogecoin uh, they they've got avalanche here as well an exclusive campaign you guys know i talk about crypto.com a lot i've got a link to crypto.com in the description down below. I stake and earn interest on my cryptos, on my stable coins. They have all of these other uh, DeFi um, uh, projects and ways to earn interest on the app. I'll leave uh, crypto.com, you can check it out, link in the description, so you can hold your DeFi tokens over there to earn interest. I love this, it's the DeFi wallet app, which I mentioned in the uh, the wallet video itself. So check that out as well. It'll be at the end of this video. You'll see it, you can click on that link and watch uh, safe wallets to use. They have a DeFi wallet, which is fantastic. I have spoken enough in this video. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed that, found some value from it, hit the like button down below. Let's get it to 1500 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're going for 70,000 subscribers. We're nearly there, I think. I'm trying to get there before the end of February. Let's see if we can do it on the channel. Otherwise, we'll get there in March. So subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, like uh, links, like I said, crypto.com down below and Swiftex if you'd like to trade these in Australia. Also, you can trade them on Binance internationally. Link down below. That's enough spamming you guys. I'll see you on Instagram to talk Q&A and check out my retirement fund portfolio sitting somewhere around 190 grand today. I'll leave it there. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.